What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports. We are here on the Michigan channel at the Voice of College Football and it's time for a very early look at this Michigan team and whether or not they will be better or worse uh, this coming 2022 college football season. Michigan was 12 and 2 in 2021. That was much better than the 2 and 4 in 2020. And our preseason projection, when we did this last year for Michigan, we predicted they would be better. Now, I'm not going to take a lot of credit for that because I think pretty much anyone would say that Michigan would be better than 2-4. and four. It was a disastrous year in 2020. And so, yeah, it, I'm not going to be bragging about that. In fact, I, I really missed the mark on Michigan. I thought they were going to kind of fall apart in the second half of the season, and they did just the opposite making it all the way uh, to the Big Ten Championship game, winning the Big Ten Championship game, and going to the college football playoffs. Uh, so while I did get that right, I didn't really have a good grasp on this Michigan team and just how good they were going to be uh, in 2021. So looking ahead to 2022, they were 12-2 and last year. They finished first in the Big Ten East, and we're going to kind of say if we think they're going to do better or worse than that. Uh, and we look at this team, and you look at the quarterback position for them. Cade McNamara will be back. Um, J.J. McCarthy, the injury does kind of, I mean, it hurts. It hurts because I think for this team to reach their full potential, they will need J.J. McCarthy in there uh, at quarterback. But Cade McNamara has proven that he can be a very solid quarterback. And who knows, McCarthy might be good to go 100% by the time they get to week one. Um, I kind of think with the injury, though, Cade McNamara will probably wind up starting, at least at the beginning of the season. But then you look at that running back spot. Yes, they lose Hassan Haskins, but Blake Corum and Donovan Edwards are still probably a top five one-two punch in the country at running back. They might be the best. I haven't really ranked the running backs or anything yet, but uh, they they are, are very solid there at running back. And then at wide receiver, uh, I think just getting Ronnie Bell back, that's going to be huge. He's going to be their go-to guy, and they've got a lot of talented weapons at that wide receiver spot. They're, they were young last season, but they're athletic. They've got speed. They've got size. Uh, this is a very, very solid wide receiver group. They're not going to be Ohio State good or Alabama good, but although Alabama might not be quite as good this year anyways. But anyways, this team, uh, this wide receiver group should be very strong for Michigan. I expect the uh, passing attack to be better, especially if J.J. McCarthy's in there. I think the passing attack will be better in 2022. They've got Eric All back at tight end. Big weapon there. You look at the offensive line. Mastardis is a big loss at center. One of their top offensive linemen and Stuber at right tackle. Uh, another big loss. They lose those two. Those are big holes to fill, but they've already added a transfer from Virginia, a guy that uh, was, I think it was an All-American last season. Or, or I mean, a very talented player to step in there at center. So the offensive line should be strong. I mean, really, Stuber's the only big loss for them. And they've got some young guys, I think, ready to step up anyway. So Michigan's offense, and we're just talking about the offense, I think it's absolutely better in 2022. Um, Haskins is really the only big loss. And like I said, they they're loaded it at running back with Corum and Edwards. So I do think the offense will be better, but we have to look – at the entire team and, and then kind of make a judgment here so the defense is where i'm a little bit worried if i'm a michigan fan hutchinson and ojabo you're at pass rushers those are huge losses i know they they didn't lose a lot in terms of numbers but your top two pass rushers guys that could change games especially aiden hutchinson those are big losses and that's you're not just going to have somebody to step up and, and give you what Aiden Hutchinson gave you last season. So that's a big loss in the middle of the defensive line. Hinton and Jeter also gone. So, yeah, defensive line, I think, takes a bit of a step back. Linebackers, they do lose Josh Ross, who was their best linebacker last season, but he's the only big loss. Uh, Anthony Solomon did enter the transfer portal, but um, not going to be a huge blow for them. Uh, so that linebacker position, um, and again, just like with the defensive line, numbers-wise, they don't lose too much, but Josh Ross was a really good player for them. Secondary, Vincent Gray is gone. Uh, he was probably their top cornerback last season. That's a big loss. Uh, a couple other guys entered the transfer portal. And then top two safeties, Daxon Hill and Brad Hawkins, both gone. So defensively, it's kind of the, the same thing across the board. They don't lose a ton of 
of numbers on defense, but they lose so many impact players that I think that defense will absolutely take a step back. Josh Gaddis gone as the offensive coordinator. How is that going to play out? It's really hard to say. And so for this Michigan team, are, will they be better or will they be worse? It's, it's, again, a very tough one, but I'm going to say they'll be worse. I think too many losses on defense. I think the offense is better, but the defense is worse. And I think the defense is a little bit more worse than the offense is better, if that makes sense. I still think this team can get to the college football playoffs. So when we're talking about that specifically, as far as getting to the same place at the end of the, end of the season, I think this team can be a playoff team. I think they have a shot to do that, mostly because of their schedule. They have a very good chance, a very good chance, if they can go on the road and beat Iowa, to finish 11-1, even if they lose to Ohio State. An 11-1 season with a close loss to Ohio State, if Ohio State's undefeated, still probably gets Michigan into the college football playoff. But I, I have a hard time seeing them beat Ohio State, at least early. Our predictions won't come till the summer, so I could kind of change my thoughts on some of this. But... Very early on, I think it's going to be very hard for them to beat Ohio State. Don't really see them going back to the Big Ten Championship, even though, again, I think they have a, a decent chance to make the college football playoff. So overall, Michigan could have a very similar season, but I think this team will be just a little bit worse in 2022.